Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen of Soul Magic Inspirations and thank you for joining me today. So today I'm doing a channeled love message and this is the love and desires of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. So we're going to get the messages from the Divine Masculine and then we're going to get the messages from the Divine Feminine. So this is as if your person is speaking to you. Okay, I pre-shuffled the messages and I got song, songs through. So the song through for the Divine Masculine was a song called Reunited by Peaches and Herbs. So I'll put the link down below. And the song choice for the Feminines was All Night Long by the Mary Jane Girls. Quite old songs now, but I'm an old gal. So <laughs> that's the songs that came through. Um, thank you so much for supporting my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Um, please check my new channel out, which is Star Child Tarot. Um, as well where I'm going to be doing more astrological readings pick a piles on different subjects and spiritual messages as well so please check that out and subscribe to help me grow that channel so I appreciate that okay so we're going to get started so we're going to start with the divine masculine so these are messages of love and desire from your divine masculine so um, check out that song as well reunited the words may have some meaning to you My beautiful Divine Feminine, I'm sorry it's been so long. This time apart has not been easy. I'm sure it's not been easy on either of us. And I'm sorry things came to this. But I needed this time alone. I needed to rest, to recharge myself, to really be clear and think things through. To be sure, I've made so many mistakes in my life. And I know I probably didn't explain this to you properly, but I am really trying to think things through and do the best for everybody. I miss you so much. I don't know if you realise, but I really do. And I do send you signs and messages telepathically and I leave you songs and I hope you get my messages and I see you in my dreams every night. I hunger for you, I miss your touch, I miss your scent, I miss your laugh, I miss everything about you, but I know it wouldn't be fair of me to come forward until I'm clear in my mind, and I am working on that right now, and I know you feel maybe it's too long, but I don't want to hurt you again, I need to be sure, I need to be sure that I'm really not going to hurt you anymore, I don't want to hurt you, I desire you so much. I remember our first kiss so clearly. It was so passionate but tender. I don't remember kissing anyone that way. It felt so magical to me. Did it feel the same to you? I'm not sure, but it definitely left an impression on me. I've got good memories of times we've spent in the autumn together. Those times that we went out, looked up under the stars, held hands, just being in your company. I really miss your company. I want you to know I really miss it. There was something so magical about you. I know maybe you weren't a witch. I don't know if you did practice Wicca. We didn't really talk about that. But it just felt like you'd put a spell on me. I could not get you out of my head. And even though I denied it, you were in my heart too. I want you to know that I use the moon energy. I feel your energy so strong around the moon. And I pray and I light candles. And I send a loving prayer to you. Because I want you to be okay, no matter what happens between us. And I hope you are doing okay, my love. I've been working on love for myself right now. I've been working on that. And I know I wasn't in a good place when you met me. I was not in a good place at all. But I wasn't in awareness that I wasn't in a good place, if that makes sense. But I've been working on myself, focusing on myself. 
to be in that good energy because how can I love anyone else if I can't even love myself and I know I need to work on this. I want you to know you turned me on so much. You, did, you didn't have to do anything. You're just there in my presence, just next to me. And you just turned me on so much. And I hope I did you. I just felt aroused just sitting next to you. The way that you kissed me, the way you kissed my neck and nibbled my ears, that sensual delight that we shared, I still think of it even now. I miss your laugh. I miss your giggle. It's such a magical sound. I never thought I would miss something so much, but I do. You're so talented. I don't even know if you realise how talented you are. There's so many things that you're talented about and you just don't even seem to realise it. And I just think the world of you. I want you to know that. I remember those times I saw you in your sexy lingerie. It was just outstanding. It was just so, such a turn on. So you look so gorgeous, so beautiful, like a goddess to me. And I close my eyes and I see you in that way. But it's not just sexy. I just love everything about you. I miss the closeness of you. I miss holding you in my arms, the scent of you, the feel of you next to my body. I want to hold you close again. I want us to have an open and honest chat. And I know it's my fault. We haven't. I haven't been honest. I haven't always been open with you. And you deserve that. You deserve to know the truth of what's been going on with me. You really do. I want us to have fun times together, to be flirty, to have playful times, to really enjoy ourselves and and just really be together and make the most of every moment because I realise now I never did that. You are such a femme fatale, so I know so many people desired you, so many people wanted you, there were so many people after you and yet I turned away, I walked away. You are just so stunning to me. There was such strong chemistry between us from the minute we met. And yet well, I denied it. I denied it to myself all the time. Why did I do that? So there was a, a disconnect between us because I couldn't be honest with you. And I'm so sorry for that. I'm so sorry the way that I hurt you. You did not deserve that. I felt when I met you that I'd knew you from somewhere and I often wonder if we had a past life connection. Did you feel that as well? Because I do feel that maybe we had a relationship in a past life because when I met you, I'd never met you before in this life, but I felt like I knew you. As I said, that first kiss was so memorable to me. You tasted so sweet and I closed my eyes and I dream about that so much. I want you to know that my love is as deep as the ocean, as wide as the sky, as high as a mountain. I will love you until the end of time. When I met you, I didn't trust. I didn't trust you or myself. How could I trust others if I didn't even trust myself? My heart had been broken before and I know that I've made failures in love, but I haven't given up. I've realised I do want to find that love and I want it to be with you. Because you are like a goddess to me. Your inner beauty, your kindness, your compassion, your empathy, the way you care about others. You are such an example, so unusual in this world today. Why was I so afraid of change? What keeps holding me back? I don't know. I guess it's fear, fear of being hurt, fear of being rejected. But I want to be with you again. I miss you so much. My heart was closed off to love when I met you after a heartbreak situation. And I'm sorry that I messed you about. You didn't deserve that. 
I want to come forward and tell you the truth. I want to tell you how I really feel, to be open and honest with you. I feel your energy around me all the time. Do you feel mine? There is just something about you I cannot resist. You are the one I want. It feel, felt like you'd hypnotise me. As I said, put a spell on me. I've never been so consumed by anybody else. Sometimes I feel, am I dreaming? Were you even real? But you are a wish fulfillment and I want, I want you back. I hope you can forgive me. I want to be able to talk, as I said, and share open, honest communication and clear the air between us. Because I want to love you, baby. I want to love you all through the night, all through the rest of our lives. I hope we can meet up again soon. Go somewhere, just the two of us, to relax and catch up. I want you to tell me what you want. How can I please you? What can I do to make things right? I want us to spend beautiful, romantic, sensual, loving nights together in a beautiful four-poster bed for two and not leave the bedroom for days because you deserve my hot, hot passion and I want to make love to you day and night. There was such a spark between us, such an immediate attraction. This connection was there from the word go, and yet I denied it. I denied it to myself. I saw you as a seductress. You know, you, you seemed to be able to seduce me, tease me, arouse me. And I felt it was just lust. I want us to celebrate each other, to have fun, to love each other, to live in that moment, to make the most of every day. I want us to have sex in unusual places and be, you know, excited to be together and try new things. I want my fingers to trace the curve of your skin. I miss the nearness of you. I want to make you zing. Tell me you love me too. Tell me it's only me who you desire, who can light your fire. I want to feel the flames of your passion deep in my soul. Your kiss is like electricity. It lights the spark inside of me that will never ever go out. I'm getting deeper with these feelings I'm in. I want to be deeper, deeper with you than I've ever been with anyone else. I want you to know I'm open to this communication. I want to listen, I want to communicate with you as I said, to have that open, honest chat. I want to romance you, wine and dine you and make love under the stars forevermore. My beautiful Divine Feminine. Hello there, we're back with the Divine Feminine messages to her Divine Masculine. So as I was shuffling these, I was listening to the song uh, All Night Long by the Mary Jane Girls. So check that out, okay? And maybe the words have some significance. So this is as if your uh, Feminine is speaking to you. My darling Divine Masculine. You felt like a soulmate to me when we met. I felt our souls connected. And then I learned about Twin Flames and it felt like this was that sort of connection to me. I just felt so connected to you. You were constantly on my mind. I had such passionate feelings, very strong feelings for you. More passionate than I felt for anyone else. I wanted us to do the romantic dating thing, but it never seemed to happen that way. You came in and out of my life and I just allowed it because I just wanted to be in your energy and I missed you when you were not there and I just let you come in and out, but that wasn't what I really wanted. I had so much passion, love and desire for you and I wanted to express it to you any time I could anyway. 
There was such an intense attraction between us, I felt it the minute we met. This eye contact that we had. And I've been working on my healing right now. Healing from everything. Healing from the hurts, the disappointments. Focusing on myself, focusing on my self-love. But I miss those sexy, me sexy times we had together. But I wanted it to be more than just sex. I wanted you to propose. I wanted to have that commitment with you. To have something solid with you. I loved your arms. Especially when you held me tight to you. I felt the strength of your muscles in your arms. The strength of you holding me against you. I miss you being in your arms. I loved your confidence, the way that you were so self-assured and confident about yourself. Well, that's how it seemed. I wanted us to go on sexy adventures together, maybe go camping. Just you and I, just go somewhere to be alone, to just be romantic, to be sexy. You had such a sparkle in your eyes, such a glint in your eyes. It was such a turn on. You got me so excited, you turned me on so much. You seemed truly magical to me. You seemed everything I desired in a ban. And I knew you had unspoken feelings. I knew that there were things that you hadn't said to me. I could feel it just under the surface. I wanted to be able to celebrate good times with you. I wanted us to be in a good place, to really be together, to celebrate this connection. And... I felt such an instant attraction to you and I want to be with you again. I want to see you again. And we, we weren't seeing eye to eye, so, you know, things didn't work out for us. But it's made me very sad, this time apart, this separation. I wanted to get closer to you. I wanted to share, uh, I wanted, wanted us to share our innermost selves with each other, to really know each other. But you just didn't seem to want that at the time. But there was this, such a deep connection between us. But my trust has, you know, been affected now. My trust in in the situation. I feel that we'd known each other before in many other lifetimes. I'm sure you felt it too. I know if things don't work out in this lifetime, we'll meet again. But I want it, things to work out now. I want us to focus on this lifetime. I, I hope that we can resolve our differences. I know we're very different, but I think that's part of the attraction. And it's what's in our heart, heart's accounts, not the way we look, or how much we earn, or what lifestyle we lead. It's what's in our hearts that matters. I know I didn't challenge you about your feelings. I didn't see the point. You keep denying it. You were denying it to yourself. And I want someone who is proud to love me, to be with me, to have a life with me. So I have felt sad and I have felt confused over this situation very much. I hope you can forgive me and I will forgive you for all that's gone on between us. Maybe we just had to learn these lessons. I want to be the one to fulfil your desires, my love. I want to be that one that you turn to because I find you so sexy so sensual such a turn on to me I hope that you let me see you again and tell you my truth I hope that we can clear the air because my feelings run so deep for you my love my love is pure for you I want you to be happy no matter what even if it's not with me Okay, I just want you to be happy. I'm the one who has love in her heart for you. Do you know? Do you feel it deep, deep down in your soul? I'm yearning for your touch once more, to be in your arms again. I love you so much. I hate we are apart, but I know we need to heal. But it hurts like hell this time apart. I want us to have a chat. An honest talk about you and me. 
I want to hear the truth from you. And then we can see where we go from there. I just hope we can clear the air. I want to be there to, waiting for you when you come home. I want to be that sexy surprise to really fulfil your desires. I want you to tease me and please me all night long. I just love the taste of you, the touch of you. I need, I want someone to lean on and I want it to be you and you can lean on me. I want to commit to you, this you and me. I want to commit to this, to be in a stable, committed relationship. That's what I would like in my life. I found myself desiring you so much. I couldn't get enough of you. I wanted to be with you, to please you, to tease you in and out of the bedroom, to spend time with you, but sadly it didn't happen. I want us to be experimental in the bedroom, to, to use role play, fantasy, and fulfill each other's desires. I want you to see me as erotic, to arouse you, I dress up for you, please you, fulfill each other's desires. Because you are my sweet, sweet desire. There are many things I want to do to show you my passion and desire for you. I love your passion, the strength of you. I like that you can overpower me, if you wish. I love that I'm your favourite dish, or I was, and I want to be that again. I want us to make tantric love, to take our time, to really be in that moment of sensual desire, sensual ecstasy together. I want you to let me deep in your soul, let me get close to you. Let me be the one that understands you the most. I have so much devotion for you and I'm a reliable person and I want to keep my promise to you, that sole promise that we made to honour our sacred vows. And if we make vows in this lifetime, I will honour those and treasure those with all my heart. I miss the sound of your voice. Your voice does something to me. It soothes my soul and it turns me on so much. And I miss hearing your voice so much, my divine masculine. <laughs> 